Drones can be used not only for military purposes, but in recent years they have been increasingly used as a cost-effective and flexible method of obtaining remote sensing data. As part of the new project NEW4, at the Federal Research Center for Forest so-called unmanned drones are built and tested as to their suitability for the Alpine region. Aerial photographs are taken especially to create terrain models and to get information on the condition of the forests. The main objective of the project is to test the limits of this technique in the Alpine area on the one hand, especially in terms of reach, visibility, takeoff and landing possibilities, altitude and weather conditions, and also to identify the aircraft which is the best suited for this particular purpose. So far an electrically powered glider is in use, which can be controlled both manually by a pilot or with the help of an autopilot. For this purpose it was equipped with sensors to stabilize the flight attitude and to take over the navigation. With this technique it is possible to proceed to a specific destination or to follow a predetermined flight path. In the flight model a commercially available digital camera is installed which can take photographs through an opening in a fuselage. Two shots are taken per second which for medium flight speeds of 20 meters per second provides adequate coverage of the area. Grundsätzlich bieten Luftaufnahmen viele Vorteile. Ich habe aus der Luft einfach den Vorteil, dass ich einen besseren Überblick habe, also wenn ich vom terrestrisch vom Boden aus fotografiere. Ich habe einen besseren Überblick über den Wald, über die Naturgefahrenprozesse, die uns natürlich interessieren, über die Naturgefahren wie Lawinen, Muren, die in steilen Gräben drin sind und ähnliches. Daher liegt es grundsätzlich auf der Hand, Luftaufnahmen zu machen. The main advantage of the drones is that they can fly in any season. Due to the low altitude, it is possible to record even individual trees. Thus beetle nests or other damage patterns that are particularly difficult to identify on steep forest sites can be located easily using the drone. Especially very steep forests have often protective structures such as rockfall and snow nets that must be examined concerning their functionality for hazard zone planning. Aerial photographs from unmanned drones facilitate the assessment of management measures. They allow the identification, recording and analysis of risks, their impact on settlements, roads and infrastructure. The recording and assessment of damages caused by avalanches, landslides, debris flows and floods are also part of the portfolio of the versatile drone. Last winter we made some test flights with promising results. Even under poor light conditions and with wind it was possible to take sharp aerial photographs. In the course of the project also other drone systems such as an octocopter were tested. They can carry both heavier sensors and take off and land more easily in difficult terrain. However, higher weight and lower visibility are at expense of range.